unemployment. Uh, and so we are sitting about doing that in the, the public sector. I'm not quite sure how much of a, a positive impact that will have, um, but it might have some kind of impact. We've introduced so-called affordable rents. Well, that is a one-time only uh, in this cinema uh, activity. As Councillor Sutter said, it's completely unsustainable. You can only do that once. Short-term tenancies, I really cannot see how that can pos uh, positively contribute to anything. Uh, a lot of the downturn on our council estates is due to the fact that we have properties that are rented out privately and they have a... a turnover of people going through them and through them and through them who contribute nothing to, to the estates. Um, are we going to introduce private sector rent controls? Uh, no. Uh, uh, registered provider rent controls? Uh, no, we're actually asking them to put their rents up to uh, as much as 80% of market rents. Uh, are we going to have a big increase in supply to meet need? Um, no, probably not. Uh, 50k deposits to help people into the uh, owner occupation uh, market. Uh, Councillor Carpenter, amongst his remarks, um, set out very well why that is completely unaffordable and will not take us anywhere. Um, sh I unfortunately think that Grant Shapps' initiatives um, are, and they are generally seen by the housing profession, unfortunately, as either being short term or utterly irrelevant for dealing with most of. Um, the housing issues uh, that we, we have before us today, very serious issues. We do need change, but we do not need the changes um, that are being proposed by the Minister for Housing. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Cooper. Councillor Ellis. Um, thank you, Madam Mayor. Uh, could, could I first start by thanking Councillor Hogg uh, on behalf of Councillors Madden Cousins uh, Senior and myself for uh, the valuations that he's placed on our properties. And I will say I'm particularly pleased at, uh, to learn how much my house was worth. And if, uh, if, uh, if he would like to put me in an offer, I will, I will very gratefully accept that uh, particular figure. On the subject of home ownership, which is uh, largely where this particular debate has, has gone, I think all members are exactly right that most of us probably couldn't afford to buy our homes here, and that is a very sad situation. And rather than perhaps wring our hands about it and say, oh, isn't it dreadful, and perhaps we should artificially uh, deflate the value of houses, as, as Councillor Cooper appeared to be suggesting, um, I think what we need to be doing is to look at rather more imaginative ways of doing it. And as has already been uh, referred to by uh, Councillor Tom and Councillor Nichols and Councillor Sutter, Sutter's uh, uh, very imaginative and, brown and groundbreaking uh, idea of offering £50,000 uh, deposits to, uh, to people to purchase their own homes uh, has been well received by everybody apart from apparently uh, members here. I very much hope that we are able to persuade the government uh, that this is uh, a, a worthy cause uh, and I can uh, confidently predict that there will be absolutely no shortage of applicants uh, if we are able to get that particular scheme uh, going. Councillor Hogg and, and Councillor Sutters uh, referred uh, to our very large rented, private rented sector and uh, as I said in my opening remarks, the private rented sector was down to almost nothing uh, about 50 years ago. Uh, nationally it stands at about 13%. Uh, here in Wandsworth it's 25%. We're the second, uh, we have the second largest number of private houses of any London borough. Um, most of our private sector housing stock is, is very good indeed uh, and landlords have no difficulty letting them and uh, there's no uh, problems caused uh, for the tenants and the environmental services hear very little about it. There are a few rogue landlords uh, and I'm pleased to say that we are clamping down as much as we possibly can on these people uh, and at the moment we have 560 of our private landlords uh, accredited uh, which uh, is the highest number uh, of uh, any London borough and I think is a, probably about half the number of accredited landlords that we have uh, in the whole of London. Touching on uh, rented council housing, which is, I have to confess is where I assume most of the uh, comments would come from, uh, Councillor Belton very rightly uh, said that there's become, and I'm sort of slight, slightly paraphrasing him here, uh, that there's some sort of a stigma has now become attached over recent years uh, to being a council tenant, and he referred to some, uh, some estates, uh, I think probably across the country, uh, as uh, effectively being ghettos. I do agree with him, actually, and I think it's an, enor uh, an enormous shame that many years ago there was absolutely no stigma at all attached to being a, private, uh, to being a council tenant. Uh, the vast majority of tenants worked, and now, sadly, the vast majority of tenants are not working. And that's why I'm sure the, uh, the opposition uh, uh, will willingly support 
our scheme to uh, prioritise uh, working applicants for tenancies because we think this is probably one of the best ways we can do of uh, uh, improving the social mix on the estates. It cannot be healthy for a lot of our children living on estates to be seeing people who are not working day in, day out. We really must try and improve the social mix on our estates. I'm glad, uh, grateful to Councillor Belton for raising that uh, and I do hope that he and his colleagues uh, will support it. I believe the leader of his party is also supporting it. Turning now to uh, fixed tenancies, uh, this was referred to by Councillor Belton. This is actually quite an interesting one. The report that he raised actually was commissioned uh, by Harriet Watt University uh, on behalf Madam of... Madam Mayor, on a point of order, how many points of personal explanation am I going to have at the end of this? I, just, I mean, having been woefully misinterpreted at least once. <laughs> Only one, Councillor Belton. The, uh, the report to which uh, Councillor Belton uh, referred... Uh, was uh, actually commissioned by an organisation called Shelter. Uh, it was undertaken by Harriet Watt University. Um, I don't know if, whether Councillor Belton's read all 56 pages of it, uh, but it actually compared the uh, private, the, the social rented sector in, in six different countries. He referred particularly to Australia, which was actually the subject of the Shelter press release, which is maybe where he got his figures from. Uh, in uh, Australia, the social rented uh, share of the housing market is actually 5% compared to uh, almost 20% here. So we're not really comparing like with like. And the report actually said that allocations are targeted towards those, uh, towards low income households with complex needs and homeless people. So it's therefore really hardly surprising that many of those people uh, are not... Councillor Ellis, could you wind up please? I, I'm, we're winding up now, Madam Mayor. Uh, it's, it's hardly surprising uh, that there hasn't been an enormous uh, number of those tenants uh, not having their tenancies renewed uh, because of their financial circumstances. The report also actually describes... No, Councillor Ellis, I'm sorry, your time is up. Thank you. Matter. The motion now before the Council is the receipt of paragraph 15 of the Executive Report in relation to social housing reform. Please indicate by a show of hands those for the motion. Thirty-nine for the motion. Those against the motion? Twelve. The result of the voting is thirty-nine for against twelve. Motion is therefore carried. <laughs>